The view control bar. The view control bar is located down at the bottom of the application and it controls basically uh, some of our viewing uh, items. So over on the left we have our scale like a quarter inch equals a foot or an eighth inch equals a foot type thing. Um, also we have the detail level. How much detail does Revit show? So when we're in fine we're showing every single line. When we're in medium we're only showing some of the lines. We eliminate some of the, the lines for uh, less detail and of course we don't show a whole lot of details. So you know in a door jam or something we might want to show all the details but when we're looking from way up on the roof who cares we'll just go with course and uh, also we have a visual style this is mainly for 3d type of stuff but let's go and switch to our default 3d view and we're gonna look at this building um, here and uh, so I'm uh, in a little close on this building and if I change the visual styles it's how we see things so we could have say wireframe and we how we see right through the building uh, we can also go with shaded and so it's all consistent colors on the building and we can go to realistic and so it's a much more realistic way the human eye would see it so the visual style doesn't change what we drew it just see changes how we see things and depending on what style you pick obviously some things take a little bit more time the realistic takes some of the longest to represent uh, as well and now we're gonna have to wait for that as it's calculating down here 40 percent to see in realistic mode uh, our next item is we can turn the sun path on or off uh, so down here we can have the sun. So Revit actually can do sun studies and calculate where the shade of the sun is and where the sun hits. We can turn the shadows off. So the shadows created by the sun or from lighting can be on or off. Uh, we can go to the rendering dialog and make photorealistic renderings. We can make uh, pictures that look just like we took a photograph of our model. So that can be with all the realistic materials and it can be with uh, you know realistic lighting uh, as well. Uh, we can crop a view. In other words we can like cropping a photo we can throw things out so we can you know like take a pair of scissors and snip off some of the view that we don't want. Uh, we can show the cropped region so we can actually show uh, where it was cropped off. We can unlock a 3D view if we lock the view so that we can make changes we can unlock it. We can temporarily hide and isolate things. So we can hide, hide for example the roof and we can see down into the building if we take the roof off or we can hide a wall and then we can, we can see right into it. So um, we can also reveal hidden items so this allows things to come back on uh, and we can see various things. We can also have temporary view properties um, so we can look at a view uh, with a particular settings. We can hide an analytical model um, so we can get rid of the calculations and we can highlight displacement sets. For, so all these things here are things that we will control how we see our model. Okay, everything is about how we will see it. It doesn't have anything to do with how we draw it. Uh, it's all about how we will view it or see it. So the view control bar controls everything about how we see our model.